Hello everybody and welcome to your yoga hit workout. So when you are ready, please come to a comfortable seated position. Please make sure that your body feels supported, especially if you struggle to sit in your free seats. I say it all the time. Make sure that you're supporting your body, whether it's with cushions, whether you're placing your back up against the wall. Just make sure that you make your body as comfortable as possible so that you limit the movement when you sit and you meditate. Because I know sitting still can be quite uncomfortable for some people, whether it's more physical feeling or mental thing. And so please make sure to get comfortable in your free seat. And then when you're ready, placing the hands wherever they feel comfortable in your body. You can place them onto the knees, you can interlace the fingers. You can do whatever you want really, because it is your body. And then just feel that you're lengthening into the spine. There's this natural opening into the chest. You're softening into the shoulders. And then feel that you can drop the chin slightly or the chin can be parallel to the floor. And when you're ready, beautiful people, I want you to gently just close those eyes. And as you sit here, I want you to take in all the sounds you can hear around you. I want you to take your breath into your chest, into your belly. And just notice the gentle movement of the body as you inhale, as you exhale. Just to feel that you can soften just a bit deeper into your eyebrows, into your jaw. But as you sit here, I just want you to remind your brain it is okay to slow down. It is okay to create space between your thoughts. you to feel you can soften just a bit deeper into the shoulders, the elbows and your wrists. I want you to feel that you can soften a bit deeper into the hips, into your glutes. Feel that you can soften deeper into the knees, into your ankles. And then just slowly start to take a deeper breath in, a smoother breath out. Just slowly starting to feel that as you inhale, that belly pushes out, that chest pushes out, and the lungs fill up with oxygen. And then as you exhale, you want to start to feel that contraction into the belly button, into the full belly, into the rib cage, into the chest. And you almost want to feel that the last muscle to squeeze is your Kegel muscle. So slowly just start to tune the body into that deeper breath in, deeper breath out. You almost want to feel that every time you exhale, the body relaxes a little bit deeper. That every time you exhale, feel that the heart softens, the brain softens. And as you sit here in these beautiful bodies, just in your head and your heart, Please dedicate some time to just pushing past these boundaries we create in our heads, these limitations, and just getting to a place where you really start to understand that you have so much more power 
and you can ever imagine. So everybody feel that you can sit just a little bit taller into the body. Almost feel that you're sitting a little bit more confident into yourself. then when you're ready, taking a beautiful deep breath in, and as we exhale, slowly dropping the chin to your chest, slowly just blinking those eyes a couple of times, getting the eyes used to the light, and when you're ready, gently lifting your head up, lengthening into that beautiful spine, and let the gaze begin. Right, I want everybody to please help themselves onto all fours. So hands are coming underneath your shoulders, knees are coming underneath your hips, and you're gonna create a beautiful box shape with your body. Making sure to spread into the fingers, you're pushing weight into the knuckles. Making sure not to drop into the belly, release into that core, arch into your back, and then put strain into your hip flexors. I want you to almost feel that you're pushing the floor away from you. You're going to tilt into your pelvis, you're going to feel belly button sucks in towards your spine. And then you're going to feel that you're keeping your hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And just breathe, okay? Just keep breathing. Breathe loud when you need to and um, stay focused. The point is to not give up on yourself. Not in this class, not in life, not ever. Right, when you're ready, we're going to take that left leg behind us. You can point or flex into the foot. Don't overlift that leg to arch into the back. Keeping that core active, keeping the belly button sucked in towards your spine and taking the right arm out in front of you. Good. Now, slowly, you're going to drop that left knee, you're going to drop that right hand. Readjust the body, activate into that core now smoothly, moving over to the opposite side. Placing that left hand in front of you, right leg behind you. And then again, smoothly, you drop that hand, you drop that knee. Good. Let's go. Number three, opposite. Stay in focus. Try to limit your movement. Make sure you keep that core strong. Make sure you keep your brain switched on. Making sure that every now and then you take a deep breath in and a loud exhale just to help the body release any stale energy. I think I keep kicking Jerry in the face. Good. I definitely lost count, but I'm assuming we're on number eight. We should go into our last two. And last one. Slowly coming back to that center, that starting position, feeling your back, feeling your legs, feeling those arms. Let's go. We are going to do five. I nearly said ten. Five baby chaturanga. So you want to feel that we're going to shift the wrists, definitely your shoulders over your wrists. Hug the elbows in. Stop when you need to stop. Drop if you can. And we're going to push up. Yo, I'm shaking already. Let's go. Number two. Number three. Keep that core active. Keep that brain active. Yo. Number four. Number five. You should feel those shakes. That's that last one. And then gently step that left hand to the center of the chest. Right arm opens up. We twist. We've got 10 to do. Now gently we drop into that right hand. We take that left arm up. We twist. And then again we drop into that left hand. We take that right arm up. We twist. Good. Number three. We're moving into number four. If you would like to close those eyes, number five, making sure that as you push into that supporting hand, you're pushing the floor away from you. Should be going into your last three, your last two. Slowly coming back to that starting position once you've done your last one. Wiggling around, readjusting, spreading into those fingers. Good. Now all I want you to do is just gently rock those shoulders over those wrists and gently pull the buttocks back. 
and sort of half a child's pose. Rocking your body forward, stop when you need to stop, and then smoothly we pull back. If you're starting to feel that the wrists are really taking a beating, guys, try and push weight into your knuckles. I know it sounds super strange, but you almost want to feel that your hands grip into the floor, so they're there to help you with balance. So feel pushed into the knuckles, not your wrists. Let's go another two. And last one. Good. When you're ready, you can just lift that body up. You can drop onto your glutes. You can sit into your free seat. And everyone, just shake your wrists out. Remember, you don't have to sit like me. Um, you can sit however your body needs to. You can rotate the wrists a little bit. And you're breathing in. You're trying to catch up with your breath. And then we're going to just keep doing exactly what we just did there. We're just going to keep advancing the movement. So again, my suggestion is if you feel it, if you're just feeling it too much and you're not coping, just stay with option one, you know, I promise you, you'll keep feeling it. And the point is to move slowly. You want to feel every part of the body activating. You want to feel what you're not activating. So just move slowly. Right. Keeping the knees on the floor, we're just moving the knees slightly back so the knees won't be underneath the hips. The knees are going to be like that. I want you to make sure that, again, you're not tilting and arching and dropping and bending into the arms. You want to make sure that the body is active. Okay, keeping that, obviously, when you breathe, the belly does push out, but the breath is a little bit shorter just because the movement is a little bit quicker. So we're going to keep that position with the body, and then we're going to do exactly the same thing, a little bit more challenging, so really working into the core. Ten of those, jiggy -ju -ju, five chaturangas, 10 side to side and then we'll have a little breather and then we'll advance it again so just a quick one before you actually go into the movement let's say you're really struggling with your wrists what i mean by pushing into your knuckles i mean pushing into that part of the hand naturally you will push a lot of weight into that part of the hand so just making that brain and body connection into your knuckles remember it takes time you've got to work out your brain just as much as we work out our hands cool my brain's just like <laughs> um but if you feel that it's really sore in between your movements, if you feel that you need to drop your knees, I mean, do your thing, don't, don't uh, beat yourself up about small things. But release the wrists, rotate them a little bit, and then when you're ready, take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out, and then join us again when you feel that you need to. Cool. Right, guys, when you're ready, coming onto all fours, please. Hmm. Strong and slow, stay focused, breathe into your body, hands stay underneath the shoulders, knees are pulling slightly back. I want everyone to feel that you're almost there's a little squeeze into your glutes. We're pushing into the knuckles and we're going opposite. Left leg goes behind us, right arm in front. Number one, we gently drop. Stay focused, stay balanced. Even if you're wobbling all over the show, just keep moving, just keep trying. Don't stress too much about being perfect. Three. Good, stay focused. Four. Whee-hoo! A lot more challenging, hey? Five. Hamstring. Seven. Eight. Number nine. This is my workout for today, by the way. And ten. My hamstrings. Five. Strong chaturanga is your version of it. Let's go. One. Two. My biceps. Three. Keep your core tight. Whoa. Four, I'm shaking, five, good, Whew. activate the core, activate the pelvis, left hand to the center, let's go, number one, Whew. number two, again, push it into that hand, you open up, good, number three, close your eyes, go inwards, find your power, find your power, it's in your bodies, that fire is just underneath your seat, my babies. You've just got to light it again, that's all. I also need to stop talking because I always lose count. <laughs> Only into your last three, or your last two. Yo, my arms are shaking. Once you've done your last one, please slowly back. <laughs> right, try 
walk the hands a little bit further inwards or try to walk the knees a little bit closer towards you. I feel my right ribs. Whew. And when you're ready, guys, let's go pull back into your child's pose. Relax into the body. Relax into the head and slowly just start to whew, lengthen into that breath or keep that breath a little bit slower. So you want to try and inhale for a little bit longer. And exhale. Again, slower breath in, slower breath out. Start to feel that with every exhale, again, you relax the body a little bit more. Just making sure to relax a bit deeper into the wrists, into your shoulders. You can give your body a little bit of a wiggle side to side if you would like to. And then gently, beautiful people, let's go lift those bodies up. You can drop onto your glutes, you can sit onto your knees. I had to tie my hair up. <laughs> and then you can shake those wrists out. Whew. Just feeling that you're shaking all the blood to those fingertips. Slowly start that rocking, and then you can just rotate the wrists one way slowly, especially the eight-time personalities. Okay, slowly with those wrists. And then we'll rotate the other way. If you need to give them a good shake again, if you need to push into them gently, be gentle with your body, please do your thing. Now we're going into our last two, so the last little bit of pressure on our wrists. Um again, stay with option one, stay with option two if you would like to. Whatever, whatever feels good for you, do that. Right, option three is we're going to do in a down dog position. So I'm just going to give an example. Down dog position, we're doing everything exactly the same. Sorry, Jerry, I just keep kicking you. Okay, really, really challenging. If you struggle a little bit too much, open up the legs a little bit wider, bend the knees. You know, you can play around with the movement. You don't have to, um, you don't have to be in a perfect down dog position. Then when we're doing the chaturangas, you're going to push the elbows outwards and you're going to imagine that you're taking the crown of your head into the floor. Again, if you need to bend the knees, make it a bit smaller. Even if you feel like a lunatic or you feel like you're doing it completely wrong, it's okay, don't panic. Just rather go a little bit slower than uh, worrying about busting out reps. That's not what we're here to do. Um, you know, if I'm saying push for five chaturangas and you can only do two strong ones, that is cool, guys. As long as you are challenging your body, great. Okay, and then we'll obviously do side to side in the down dog. And then the next option, option four, is gonna be in your plank position. So I really want you to focus on moving a little bit slower, moving with feeling how much the body can work. And you want to get into a place where your core is really, really active all the time. Because in your yoga class, you wanna feel that the core, so into the pubic area, all the way into the trunk of the body, literally the space of the body. You want that to keep really, really tight because that's what holds a lot of your weight. And often in yoga classes, people will say they feel this feeling of being light. That's because they store all their weight into their core. And then all of a sudden, this is just this little powerhouse that's got you moving. So make that core crazy strong, guys. That includes your Kegel muscle. Really, really work into those muscles. They're so important. Um, so yeah, go slow. Enjoy. Enjoy pain. Enjoy it. Breathe into it. Okay, with pain also comes some nice lessons, so learn, learn to be calm in the chaos. Right, my beautiful! Let's do this. You've got this, I promise you, you're stronger than you think. Breathe into it, my babies. Just breathe. Breathe. Talk to yourself. Tell yourself you can do it. Let's go. When you're ready, into a down dog position. Okay, already getting your brain in the right place, so you're not going to say things like, oh, you know, now I've got to do this. Relax. You must do it. You must. Wiggle around, readjust. Brain is in the right place when you are ready. Left leg behind you, right arm in front of you. Gently drop. Let's go. Number two, take your time. If you're falling, that's okay. You just drop to the floor. You pick yourself back up. Three. Stay focused. Four. Now watch when you're pushing into that arm. Make sure you're not dropping into the shoulder. Make sure everything's working. Oh, 
body breathing. Going into your last three or two. Good. Good. Breathe, guys. Breathe, guys. Breathe. Whew. Right. Wiggle around. Readjust. Spread your fingers. We're going into the push up, pushing the elbows out. Top of the head's going towards the floor. Strong and slow, baby lady. Number one. Good. Two. Three. Push into those knuckles. Number four. Jerry's watching me as if to think, what the hell is she doing? Five. Good. Wiggle around, readjust if you need to. We're going into those twists. So push into that left hand. Watch that I'm pushing up and out of that arm. Holy macaroni. <laughs> Number one. Good. Nine more to do. Don't let it destroy your brain. You've got this. Two. Three. Number four. Close those eyes. Go inwards. Go inwards. Find your fire. Feeling the burn. Going into your last three or two. Good. Once you've done your last one, come into a down dog position first. Activate, stay strong. Do not just drop those knees. First, take a deep breath in, acknowledge, slow down in the chaos. Exhale, manifest. Gently drop, gently, gently. Whoa. My legs feel like they're not even mine. And then you can either pull back into a child's pose or you can lift the body up. Whew, that was crazy. Yeah, and gently rock those wrists. And take a deeper breath in, deeper breath out. Wow, wow, wow. Good. So if you're feeling absolutely wowed by yourself, even if you just got the balance in today or that little one-legged thing, you didn't get any of them and all of a sudden you were able to hold one for 20 seconds, oh, for a second, guys, small ones. Just so, as you sit here, as you're in your child's pose, just congratulate the body, well done, I'm proud of your brain, I'm proud of your body. Those kinds of things are important. Remember, rotate, release, take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out. Today you are definitely more than welcome to have a sip of water. Phew. And then again, just being conscious of your brain before we go into the next movement. Um, you know, the minute I say plank position, the brain's like, I'm not afraid. Don't, um, don't catch yourselves in those kinds of loops. That's you talking yourself out of the movement already. So you should be the person that's your biggest cheerleader. That like, yes, I'm powerful, I'm strong, I've got this. You know, if you need to swear, swear words also help a little bit. But if you're not a swearer, you know, you're still going to motivate yourself. So... Get your brain in the right space. We're going into our last, last movement. And I promise you, you're going to release these wrists. And um, yeah, you're going to feel strong. You're going to feel energized. You're going to feel ready. So when you're ready, my beautifuls. Oh, wait. Do not go into your plank. If your plank, I mean, my wrists are dying. If your plank looks a little something like this, that is very naughty. Watch, look how much weight is going into my wrist there. I'm literally destroying my wrists. Watch that. I'm putting so much pressure on my lower back. I'm literally making it freak out here. So please, guys, if your plank looks like that, please do not do your plank because uh, you are going to hurt your bodies. Rather do it from a down dog. Down dog is super challenging. Um, I want your plank to look like a yoga plank. So you can either do more flat, a little bit more challenging. Here you want to squeeze into the glutes. Watch that. My tummy sucks in. My pelvis is tight. Or else you can do a yoga plank, which is pushing up and out of those shoulders. Again, you can decide what you need to do with your body. Play around, you know. If you used to that nice flat plank because whatever reason, then try and do a yoga plank. If you feel that you do yoga plank too much, then try and do that flat plank. You know, play around. But you'll feel naturally the bum wants to lift up because of that opposite movement. So, again, be calm in the chaos. Be calm when you're ready, babies. Let's go. Into whatever variation you are going to do, getting into your plank, your down dog, or falls, whatever you are working with, do that. Wiggle around, readjust. I'm going to work with a more straight plank just because I do so much yoga plank. And again, do what you can do. 
push beyond your limits. Know that you have power. Spreading into those fingers, get your brain in the right place. Left leg, right hand in front of you. Holy mackerel. Let's go. Two. Three. <laughs> number four. I was just laughing. Matt, that's number four and we have so much to do. Five. Good. Breathe, guys. You've got this. I promise. Six. Seven. Eight, whew, nine, ten, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it, are we ready? Five, chaturangas, number one, <laughs> two, you're my arms, three, four, <laughs> number five, good, we've got ten to do. Left hand, right arm up. Please keep your hips up. One, whoo, killer. Two, three, do what you can, remember? Do what you can and then push a little bit more. Breathe a little bit deeper. Talk to all the friends in your head. Make friends with those people. And then just in between all of that, remind yourself, you can do this. Going into your last two more through. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Once you've done your last one, come back to your plank, to your down dog first. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, gently drop those knees. This time, everybody, pull back into your child's pose position. And everyone bending into the elbows, placing the palms up towards the sky, towards the ceiling. I want everyone to drop the chin to your chest or the forehead to the floor. Close your beautiful eyes and instead of getting into your head about the movement of what you couldn't do, how about just everybody stop where you are and tell your brain and body, well done. How nice, how nice to talk to yourself nicely. It's actually a really good feeling, my beautifuls. Do it more often. And then as you hold this child's pose and you're talking so well to your body, to your brain, I want you to try to slow down your breath. Again, a deeper breath in. You'll see that I'm rocking, it just feels so nice for my body, so you can rock if you would like to, if you don't want to. Cool. Whatever you need to do right now, do that. My back is on fire. Hmm. And then when you're ready, in this position, I want you to walk those hands over to the right hand side. I feel, I feel like my arms are numb. Just pushing the body as much as you need to go into it. Wow, Zeus, I can't believe what my arms feel like. Completely relax into the head and then again, stop it. Don't panic. You want to tell the brain and the body well done. You did it. And then gently <laughs> drag your body over to the left hand side. And feel that stretch into the right side again. Relax the head, close the, those eyes. Breathe in, breathe out. And then slowly drag the body back to your center. I can't tell you how crazy my biceps feel right now. And then when you're ready, guys, lifting up onto those knees. Whew. I didn't realize I was moving like crazy in my brain. Right, you can sit onto your knees, you can sit onto your glutes, and then again, just rotate those wrists slowly, five times in one direction. And then once you've done your last one, you can rotate that opposite way again, slow movements, and then you just do it strongly. 
Step the rod and take it easy. Can be my brain still, still trying to catch up. And slowly, once you've done your last hand again, just shaking out into those wrists. Phew. Okay, I feel like I'm coming back. And then just shaking those hands for another three. Right. When you're ready, my darlings, you can decide today. If you feel that you, <laughs> if you feel that you have power, you can do a down dog jump, step, cross the ankles, sit into your free seat. If you feel that's not what you have right now, you can sit on your glutes, swing those legs forward, and help yourself into a free seat. So, do what you need to do with your body. Crossing one leg in front of the other. Sitting nice and tall into the body. If you prefer to sit on your knees, you are more than welcome to do that. Placing those hands onto your knees, lengthening into the spine, and just slowly, we're gonna start rocking the body side to side, just to release. So, slow movements, the arm doesn't even have to go all the way up. We're just gonna release, so dropping into the right arm, left arm up and over. And we're gonna do it just a little bit quicker. So here, we're just releasing into the body. Hmm. Just loosening up into that spine, loosening up into that back, those shoulders. And you've got another two or three left to do with your body. Once you've done your last one, gently coming back to that center and nice and simple. Twisting over into the right side, you don't even have to push 100%. And then gently coming back to your center. And twist over to the opposite side. Just a cool way to release the body. So, especially if you've been sitting all day, let's say you even just had a stressful day, the body feels heavy because of stress. And come and just do a few of these. Again, you can do it in front of the TV, there's no excuse. Mm -hmm. You have another two or three left to do. Once you've done your last one, coming back to that center. And smoothly, everybody, extending those legs out in front of you, flexing into your feet. I want you to take the hands behind you. You can relax into those arms. Just make sure you're not slouching into the shoulders. And all I want you to do is just shake those legs out. So feeling pressure into the calves, feeling like you're relaxing into the quads. Close those eyes and shake those legs for another three, two, When you're ready, bending into those knees, pulling those glutes nice and close towards your heels. Wiggle around, readjust. We're going to interlace. Oh, sorry, Jerry. Sorry, Jerry. We're going to interlace those fingers behind your head. You know, because we can't move for our animals. I mean, we can't move our animals. <laughs> Feet are going to be hip distance apart, keeping the shoulders, the elbows onto the floor. If you can't, when you do the movement, don't stress too much. Just keep moving. So drop the knees over to the left. We pull the knees back to your center and then over to the opposite side. When you're ready, my beautiful people, I want you to close those eyes and just gently rock side to side. So remember when we started our class, it's about creating space between our thoughts. So here, as you lay here, as you really slow down the movement, just be conscious of when the brain becomes busy. I'm going to tell your brain, listen, babes, I'm still doing some yoga, just stretching and just breathing. I'll talk to you after class. Okay, another two or three. Once you've done your last one, pull the legs back to your center. Release those hands. And then when you're ready, my darlings, I want you to wiggle around, get the body, the brain ready for your relaxation. Moving the fleshy pieces of the bum out of the way again, you can relax however feels good for your body. Get yourself a cushion if you need one for your head. Bend the knees, plop the legs up against the wall, whatever feels good for your body right now, do that. And really just starting to prep the brain and the body for relaxation, taking time to just breathe, to reconnect. Shift your breath is back to normal. If you haven't yet, 
And just close your eyes. And just take in all the sounds you can hear around you. Noticing the movements of the chest and the belly as you take a breath in, they expand. As you take an exhale, there's that contraction into the belly, into the chest. Feeling that you can soften a bit deeper into your eyebrows, into your jaw. Start to feel that you can take a smoother breath in. A slower breath out. Yeah. And again, every time you exhale, almost feel that you just soften a bit deeper into the body. And if the brain becomes busy, just tell your brain, brain, I'm relaxing. Stop talking to me. And then if you feel the brain's very busy today, you might have to tell yourself 10 times, 50 times, guys, it's such a normal thing that the brain is busy. Don't get angry. I know it's really challenging not to get angry, but just know it's a process. Meditation is damn hard. Relaxation, it's damn hard. But to help yourself, every now and then, I want you to take a deep breath in. Imagine you collect all of that busyness. And as you exhale, you release it. As you lay here on your back again, I just want you to feel that feeling of being proud of yourself. Even though the movement might have been really challenging because physically it was painful, or just mentally it was a challenging day for you. But just acknowledge your body. Acknowledge that you were able to move, that you were able to challenge yourself mentally, physically. And whatever kind of movement you did today, however hard you pushed yourself, that is good enough. Oh, beautiful. So today's mantra then, is I am good enough. Hmm. So as you lay here, just almost feeling that, that mantra in your heart, feeling or repeating that mantra in your head. And then just slowly start to feel that as you inhale, take the breath to the tips of your toes, tips of your fingers, top of your head. Exhale, you relax a little bit more. And as you lay here, you're almost just pulling your brain back into your skull and you're coming back to your body, back to your yoga mat. And then just slowly start to wiggle out into your hands, into your feet. Slowly taking those arms up above your head, giving your body a beautiful stretch. I want you to yawn, sigh, wiggle. Squeeze, do what you need to do. And then gently just pull the knees into your chest. Give your body a good squeeze again. Be conscious of your brain, guys. Don't let the brain just immediately be busy. You're going to get to everything. You can still relax. You can still take it slow. Making sure to relax the feet, to rock the body side to side, just massaging your lower back. Because it is your body, it is your rules, you can roll over to the right hand side, feet to position. Or if you would like to, you can stay on your back. Whatever you decide to do, I just want you to take a deep breath in. Take a slow breath out. And then we are ready. Gently we help our bodies back up. Sitting into a free seat, a half lotus, a full lotus, a hero's pose. So just something interesting whilst my brain is still buzzing and whilst you guys get ready. Um, there is load shedding today, every day, <laughs> every day. But anyways, um, uh, Sangoma once told me though, 
that when there's load shedding, it is time to meditate. I know that's very frustrating and it's infuriating and it can make people very, very angry. But guys, breathe, go get outside, go for a walk, you know, be productive. Read a book if you want to, grab a nap. Be productive when there's load shedding. And I don't mean like look yourself stupid or sick. I mean, go do things that you say you're going to do. Oh, I've been wanting to clean out this cupboard. I've been wanting to go through my clothes. Do those things. You've got the opportunity now. So I know it's frustrating. Please don't get me wrong. But um, <clears throat> be wise with your time. When you're ready. Sitting nice and tall into your body, we sit with confidence. We sit with power always. I hope you felt that burn. And let's say maybe you come back to this video and the next time you were only able to do five each side, um, or you weren't able to lift the knees up, next time come back and then come see how strong you are. And it's actually more mental shift. Obviously the body's getting stronger, but mentally the brain's also getting stronger. Cool. So when you're ready, we're sitting nice and tall into that body. We extend into the crown of your head. And when you're ready, we breathe in, you lift both arms up. You are gathering yourselves for the rest of your day. And as we exhale, we gently pull the hands into the heart center, drop the chin to your chest. Not just in your head and your heart, because of today's practice, it inspires the mantra. I mean, how amazing. But in your head and your heart today, just reminding yourself, I'm good enough. Also, share that mantra with people if you feel that they need it. But keep repeating it until you deeply, deeply feel that about yourself. That I am good enough. So thank you so much for pushing past the boundaries we create in our own heads today. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> cool. Thank you so much. Please let me know what you think. Um, you know, I appreciate commentary. I appreciate um, opinions. So please, 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 please.